everyone and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and let us have some good time together <clears throat> um, today uh, uh, our friend uh, the ex-muslim from Turkey I think all of you, you know him Sheikh Ahmad uh, <clears throat> he posted a video on his channel and he asked me did you see this one I said no what is it and he gave me the link so we will watch it together and we will see what happened. about them and their family so that we could confirm that the people who are bringing this gospel that you're holding on to so tight are the best of the people so what one... however muhammad said that he swore on the torah and the gospel he did yes he did he swore can you he show me that on the torah and she's the gospel ruin, she's gonna ruin your argument he swore really on the torah and the gospel yeah no, but, she, but she, she's actually right yeah he swore on the on, on the, the torah, torah i don't know where gospel. but she's actually right so she's right so she's right but you don't know where she he, he yeah. said that i got read it before oh so you've read it before and, yeah. and you can look it up on christian prince uh christian prince uh he, wow. he is a arabic person that showed he uh said he uh received his revelation from Jibra Jibra Gabriel? He said three times the angel choked him. Three wow. times he choked him. Wow. So and you're. You're, you're giving me, okay, so you're giving me from Christian Prince who's a apologist, right? So you're learning about a religion which his channel is fully based upon making you hate Muslims and Islam. Chill, 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 chill. Christian, Christian Prince. Muslims. He doesn't hate Muslims. Stop it. You're, we're talking about two different Christians. Right? That's not the point. So go back to my point about Luke and... Uh, go back to my point then. Muhammad, if you want to argue about character, then uh, Muhammad... No, 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 we're Tell me his character. To, Tell me his character, please. Know. Please. Muhammad... You're about to say six something. Year old, at six years wow. old, Muhammad, he physically molested her. Aisha. Okay. However, he did okay, not okay. sleep with her. My turn. In Hadith, my turn. My turn. Hadith, she said something crazy right now. She said something crazy right now. Sex with her. Cool. All right, so listen, 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 listen. So you made a very, very big claim right now. Very big claim. I want to be very clear with you all. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus, Jesus loves you too. All right, this is the video short. I did not see the whole thing. Uh, but you see here the Muslims, and this is what the Muslims they do. They challenge you. They say to you, oh, my prophet, he swore in the Torah. He swore in it. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Show me. And then, uh, you know, here is your duty when you are speaking to Muslims to have your reference ready. Remember, he, his argument is the gospel you are reading today, the book you are reading today, is corrupt, right? So we as a Christians, if we try to answer the Muhammadan from their from our books, you are wasting your time. Simply, you are just I mean, the guy he just told you it's corrupt. So you want to show him from your book? That would be really a silly argument. So how you can get him busted? This is exactly what she did. them and their family so that we could confirm that the people who are bringing this gospel that you're holding on to so tight are the best of the people so what, what How, however muhammad said that he swore on the torah and the gospel he did yes he did he swore can you he, show me that on the torah and the gospel ruin, she's gonna ruin your yeah she is going to ruin your argument so you see he did can you show me now when you go to speak to those muhammad in the street if you want to do that you better not to jump before you have your reference ready so there is a major things the Muslim they speak about as an example corruption of the Bible all Muslims they say the same but all reference of Islam says the opposite so when you speak to Muhammad about this the guy he was like what huh? <laughs> what so what she should do I don't know the rest of the video if she found the reference or not because the video is very short but if she did that would be wonderful so you should have your reference ready when the Muslim they speak to you. If you want to mention it, take a screenshot of what we show you in the screen. Don't wait for the video. Don't look for the video again. You know, you do not need the whole video. You need only the reference. So when I post for you something in the screen, 
take a screenshot of the reference this is what you should do and you can keep the images in your phone so later when you need it you do not need to look for it all right <clears throat> so what the most time they say and this is a very this is an argument they cannot you know what they will say i mean uh, the the maximum they will say i don't accept this hadith well that you don't accept it that's mean islam is corrupt anyway see the funny is they are saying to us that our belief is corrupted when they are the one keep saying to us those hadith are daif this religion is daif the statement of the prophet is not protected but isn't it everything in islam is the statement of the prophet you know what i mean <clears throat> Their argument is that you believe standing on books, which is not preserved. But the second you show them something embarrassing, they jump to say our books is corruption, corrupted. They are talking about their books, not our books now. They are the one who jump and they favor the opportunity to say that their books is corrupted. Use that against them. So the second Muslim, he says, I don't accept this. You say, so you are saying your books are corrupted. And you are coming to us yet. You are coming to us saying our books is corrupted. When you are the one going around, keep saying that our books, whatever Muhammad said is not trustworthy. But is it Islam based in what Muhammad said? You see the title of my video here, learn Islam from Muhammad, not from Muslims, not from Christians. Same for you know, uh, uh, Christianity. Learn Christianity from Christ, not from the Christians, and not from the Muslims. Because if a Christian, he says something, is not what Jesus said, obviously he's wrong. Obviously. Right? Christianity is based on what Jesus said. Islam is based on what Muhammad said. It's not based on a Christian belief. It's not based on Muslim saying things. You know, Muslim, they are tutti-frutti religion. You know, in the mosque they are holy. In the in the in the, in the night club they are doing striptease. So they change their their religion. They bend in the location. When they are in Islamic country, they say, "Yeah, we have to kill the Christians." When they are in the West, they say, "No, Christian Islam is uh, against uh, killing. <laughs> ISIS is not Islamic." And when we ask them, name one thing ISIS did. You know, it's not Islamic. They cannot. You know, like like what Muhammad he did all of them. ISIS is just copying what Muhammad did. And here you see an example when a Muslim he come to you and says your Bible is corrupt first of all this is my advice for the Christian please take notes don't defend the Bible why do you want to defend the Bible you might say what I'm a Christian I should defend the Bible no my friend he is not talking even about your Bible Muslims they are people who believe in a prophet his name is Muhammad and he is an idiot. And this idiot, in order to make himself look like a prophet, he said stupid things. So he used what he ever said, stupid things he said. So according to Islam and according to Muhammad, according to his God supposedly, the one who sent the Bible is Allah. So the Muhammad is saying to you that the book of Allah is corrupted. What's your business? Laugh at him. <laughs> say hey, hey, hey look this guy <laughs> his god he sent the book <laughs> and everybody can play with it <laughs> what kind of god this god is in a second you will see the abdul he changed his color and he don't want to talk about the topic no more they are not attacking your bible they are attacking you they are their own claiming that their god he sent the bible chapter 3 verse number 3 in the beginning of the quran it says here that allah he sent the book <clears throat> Okay, which book is that? Is the Quran. Okay, but this verse saying that Allah, he confirmed the Torah and the Gospel. Take a screenshot, take a note. Chapter 3, verse number 3. Easy to remember. Chapter 3, verse number 3. So the Quran confirmed the book which is with us. Now, we don't confirm any book with them. See the weakness now? Because when the one who is rejecting you, he is confirming your book, and yet you don't confirm his book he is in trouble <laughs> so this is his stupid book saying that allah he confirmed what with us if the muslim they will say oh at that time the bible was a true but this is mean muhammad there's no reason for muhammad to come because the christian at that time they are following the bible which is saying that jesus is god 
Is it the same Quran says that the Christian they say that the Messiah is Allah? That at that time. So this is a stupid verse from a stupid man. His name is Muhammad. And Muhammad is very famous with doing poo-poo. Muhammad, he don't lay eggs or jewels. He lay poo-poos. This is a chapter 3, verse number 48, the same chapter. The one who taught the books to Isa is Allah. Okay, what he taught him? He taught him the book. What is that? The gospel. What he taught him? The Torah. And this is the Muslim translation in front of you. So here you ask yourself what a Muslim he says to you. Your book is corrupt. Why in the world do you want to defend the book he's talking about? He's talking about the book sent by his God. It's called Injil and Torah. And that book is corrupt. Say to him, yes, I agree. Your God is not God. Because the God who can protect his book, he cannot be God. Correct? The God who sent the book, yet he cannot protect his book, he cannot be God. And here you see the Muslim logic, which is very funny. Brother Tita, let us see if I can Brother Zakir, Zakir, Zakir is not answering. Where is Zakir? You know, I don't know. I hope I'm not calling the wrong number. <laughs> Did he change his number? I'm not sure, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I just searched for, I searched for Zakir Naik, and look what I found. I found that Zakir Naik, he made a post in Facebook seeking a wife to his son. <laughs> Just a fresh news. Oh boy. <laughs> Brother Tita, they're the person who make the print. And create the print or you lie. Uh, Zakir, how I did lie. First of all, you say that the Injil is sent by Allah. Yeah, yes, the Injil is sent by Allah according to the Quran. According to the Quran. But according to the Quran, it's not sent by Allah. Exactly. So you must you say that the Bible is corrupt. You are talking about the Bible sent by Allah, correct? Exactly, Christian Prince. And I get you both it. Is that kind of like how you can be busted? Because Allah is in the Bible, but he don't want to protect it. Allah, he don't want to protect it. Where he said that? He did not say it. But Allah, when he say things, he don't want to say. What does that mean, Zakir Naik? As an example, if you have a wife and she is ugly, and you can't say to her you are ugly, because she will hit you with the hammer. Do you say to her you are ugly? Ah, so you are saying Allah is ugly, and you don't want to say that to him. Good to breath. Don't, don't put it. You make me angry. Allah is not like my wife. Allah is very beautiful. Okay, Zakir Naik, I don't care. Are you should be beautiful or not. You are the one who mentioned beautiful and ugly and hammer. And by the way, what hammer? You know, don't mention it. Allah, he used hammer too to hit the guy who is dead in the grave and he pushed something in his ass. Don't talk about us. Please don't talk about us. This is very case sensitive. Okay, we forget about it. So Allah He sent the book, and Allah we don't want to protect the book. Why? Because simply Allah is wise. Allah is wise, but as you see, there's millions of people now, billions of people they are deceived by the book of Allah. Because if Allah did not send that book, nobody believe in any book, which is supposedly going to be you know corrupt. Secondly, how your God, you idiot, you says that Allah He confirm what is with us. Great impress. Allah He confirm what with you. But they didn't mean he confirmed the Torah and the Bible. Yeah, but this is the book with us. It says there even Torah and the Bible. Christian Prince, I trade you. Where it says, so what is with us? What is you? It can be the remedy of him. It can be credit card. It can be a passport. It can be, uh, you know, something. Anything. But it's not the Bible, it's not the Torah. Uh, uh, Zachary, listen. You know, I know you are, you are Abdul and you are a genius. But the Quran says that confirm what is with them, and the Quran name it by name says Torah and Injil. So what say you? First of all, Allah always use nickname. As an example, your name is the Christian birth. It's a nickname. So Allah when He say Injil, He don't mean Injil. Eh? 
So Allah, he say injir, but he don't say, he don't mean injir? Are you sure? Exactly. Because Allah, he like to trick you. Yeah, you have a tricky God, don't you? Exactly. Actually, my God is the best tricky God ever. This is why there's a guy in the Christian Prince, he named a book, it's called The Satan of Allah. Are you no Christian Prince? I heard of him. He that you are talking to me. You who? <laughs> so, when a Muhammad and he say to you that your book is corrupt, laugh at him, says, are you saying, you idiot, that your God Allah, he sent the book? And he cannot protect it. <laughs> and you will see how the Abdul, he will do poo in his panty, and he will try to find any diaper to change the topic. In a second, in the speed of light. My friends, I come here to teach you, to teach your children, so nobody can defeat you by ignorance. And I mean ignorance, all of us, we are ignorant about something. As an example, you know, uh, uh, I am ignorant about the history of uh, Indonesia or whatever country. Ignorance is a is a is a, is something a human being he have to have. It's a must. But we cannot defeat a cult attacking our faith by being ignorant about it. We cannot defeat a virus by not knowing what the virus is. So you need to learn and you need to take notes and you need to prepare yourself. So when you face the devil, you make him shish kebab. Chapter 5, verse number 66. Look how stupid this verse. And if they only had acted according to the Torah and the Injil, The stupid God is asking us to act according to the Torah which is with us. We just showed you chapter 3, verse number 3, confirming what is with us, correct? Okay. Now the God of Islam is asking us <laughs> to follow the Torah and the Injil. <laughs> I don't know, Muhammad, somebody adopt him from the circus, or I don't know, Muhammad, he came from the middle of nowhere. I, I, you know, sometimes I ask myself, what kind of hashish Muhammad he take? For sure, it's not a good brand. So how we are people who have a corrupted book, and you are asking us to follow the book? Actually, if you go two verses more, you will see the Quran asking us to follow the book which we have. Read carefully. Say, O Muhammad, by the way, there's nowhere in the Quran that says this, uh, you know, in the verse. This is the Muslim translation translator to make you, because it doesn't make sense. Say, say who? You know, I'm trying to say the name. Okay. Say, O Muhammad, O people of the scripture, look how stupid this religion. How does idiot go in the street, say Christians, their scriptures is corrupted and their book keep calling us people of the scriptures. <laughs> it's like saying the guy with the hair to Kojak. The yeah, Abdul Kojak, he lost his hair. He don't have a single hair. Why you keep calling him the guy with the hair? So, if we are people who don't have the true scriptures, and then their stupid book keep calling us the people of the scriptures, who is the donkey here? Are you following people? Do you understand what I'm saying? Anyone don't understand what I'm saying? I can make it slower. If you don't speak my, I mean, if you don't understand my accent, I can explain to you in a better accent. But the fitter, the Quran said the people of the scripture. Uh, exactly why the Quran says people of scriptures, you know, Christian Prince, further rule because Allah he decided to call you with that name. Okay, but, you, but you keep saying that our book is the corrupted, so how you keep calling us people of scriptures if we don't have it? Further rule the name is with you, even if the book is gone. But what the heck? But you keep saying the people of the scriptures, that means the people who belong to those scriptures, which is supposedly gone. <laughs> I like the Chinese when they say it, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. So, as you see, the Quran, the stupid Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, keeps saying the people of the scriptures. And you will notice Muslims are not people of the scriptures. 
Did you notice that? Not a single verse in the Quran saying that the Muslims are people of the scriptures. So the Quran confirmed that the only true people who follow the true God is those who have the follow the scriptures from the people of the book. And if you ask any Muslim who is the Christian, who is the people of the book, they will say the Christian and the Jews. And actually, it's in the front of you on the screen. Do you see it? When they say the people of the scriptures, what they meant? They don't mean the Hindus. They don't mean the Muslims. They mean specifically Christians and Jews. And by the way, the Christian and the Jews is one belief. Because remember, the first Christians are Jews. Do you understand that point? But many people think that Judaism and Christianity is two different beliefs. That's false. The first Christians are Jews. Our Lord the Messiah, he is not a Jew. He is the God of the Jew. This is why he said to them before, Abraham I am. Which means my existence have nothing to do with your existence. Even Abraham's existence. I am the Lord of Abraham. And Abraham, he saw my day and he rejoiced for that day. So, the Messiah is the king of the Jews and the king of the kings and he is the Lord of all mankind and his existence have nothing to do with the Jews. Yet, the people who accepted the Messiah, first people who accept the Messiah is the Jews. Not as so many people say to you, the Jews killed Jesus. The fact, the first one who supported and believed in the Messiah is the Jews. Those who want you to hate the Jews, they want, they keep saying the Jews killed Jesus. As simple as that. When in fact, the majority of the Jews, they became a Christians already. This is why the Jews in the world are a very small number. Now, when the Muslim, they continue speaking about uh, the Bible is corrupted and their book keeps calling us the people of the book, then there is something wrong with the stupid religion which we are talking about. Actually, if you go just a verse after that, this is chapter 5, verse number 68, if you go a verse after that, it says here, Surely those who believe, between two brackets, the oneness of Allah, that's not in the Quran. That's not the Quran. This is a false translation. It says, Surely those who believe, and those who they are Jews, and those who they are Sabian, and those who they are Nasara, which supposedly a Christian, they will go to heaven. And here you see, you can notice right away, that Muhammad is a fraud because he added in the list of those people who go to heaven, the Sabians. The Sabians are the enemies of the Jews. In the books of the Sabians, it's called Kenza Rabba. Uh, the Sabian, they consider the Jews the enemy of their religion. And they believe, they believe Adonai is the devil. Adonai, the God of the Jews, is the devil. And I quote from their books, actually, it says, because, and why? Because he ordered them to circumcise themselves. Their devil, Adonai, he ordered them to circumcise themselves. So according to Sabian, anyone who circumcised himself, he is following the devil. And Muhammad, he ordered circumcision following the steps of the Jews because he's trying to hijack the Jews. But the Jews did not believe him. They are not, they are not smart, stupid. So Muhammad, he adopted the Sabian, hoping that the Sabian will accept him. And Muhammad, he accept anything. Muhammad is like the Democrat Party today, you know? You know, you are a gay, they are with you. You are a conservative, they say to you, you go to church. You know, you see Obama, he go to the church, and Joe Biden, he, he's a believer, suddenly, you know? Only in the election day. The day after, they make fun of churches, and they make fun of, you know, and they and they allow the abortion. And So, with the abortion people, they do abortion. With the gays, they are gays. With the homosexual, they are homosexual. With the with the Muslims, they are Muslims. With the Christians, they are Christians. With the, with the Jews, they are Jews. <laughs> you know? So, Muhammad is exactly that, like the Democrat Party in, in USA. They have, they have no guideline except taking over the office and do an agenda. But still they are stupid and we laugh at it. So here you notice how in the world we have a book, it's corrupted, and then the Quran asking us to follow the book, which is corrupted, 
I mean, how we can follow a book is corrupted. Because the Quran says, you have to follow the book. You see, he did not say to you, you, you know, you don't have a book. We just showed you how many verses the Quran says, you know, confirm the book is with them. Confirming the book is with them, not was with them, as some translation says. This is why speaking Arabic is extremely important to get them busted. But, you know, me speaking Arabic is just a bridge to bring you the truth so you can use it later. This is why, actually, yesterday I worked until, you know, many hours, I don't know how many hours, until my back cannot stand sitting, no more working in the Quran translation. So, when Muhammad, he promised the Christians and the Jews and the Sabi and they go to heaven, that is a promise made in his time. But the Quran confirmed that the Jews and the Christians, they don't believe in Islam. How they go to heaven? The Quran confirmed that the Christian believe that Jesus is God. So how he promised them to go to heaven? Here a Muslim, he will say to you, oh, don't you see it says here the oneness of Allah? That is not in the Quran. It says, those who believe me in the Muslims, and those who they are Jews, and those who they are Sabian, and those who they are Nasara. When you see Muslims adding brackets, that means all of it is not there. So, if you check it out, you will see that all this line, look how long this line, all of this and this and this is not in the verse. Do you see it? This is not in the verse. And then you ask yourself, <clears throat> if that meant to explain well, he do not need to say all those things. He need, he can say the Muslims. And what is going to hurt if you say who believe? You see, don't the Muslims they say that the Quran is the best? Okay, how come it is the best? But you need to put a lot of a bracket to make it clear. You know what I mean? Because if Allah fail to make it clear, and then you need to add a bracket. That's mean Allah, he failed. Otherwise, we need, don't need to have a bracket. Uh, chapter 36, 13, 14. Yeah, we can go there, but this is not our topic for now. However, to, to get the Muslim busted with chapter 36, go to uh, Quran.com translation and move your finger over translation word by word and you will see the translation is exactly as I said. Just to get them busted so easy. So, when they say that the Quran is Fusilat uh, Ayatahu, which means clearly explained, we die laughing because the Quran is so clearly explained to the point we have to have thousands of interpretation books and none of them agree with each other. Do you see how, how clear it is? I mean, those books are so clear. This book, Quran, is so clear to the point, hey, Muslims, can I show you Ibn Kathir interpretation? Ibn Kathir is a human, and I don't accept the human interpretation. Okay, so so you. Okay, I don't accept Ibn Kathir. I'm, I'm going to explain the Quran for you. Well, you idiot, you just said to me, you don't accept a human interpretation. Aren't you a human too, or you are a monkey? I mean, do you see the stupidity? He said to us, well, Ibn Kathir is a human. Well, isn't Muhammad a human too? <laughs> oh boy <laughs> so if we go and check more verses in the Quran we will find tons of stupid things they don't make sense As an example, not 
limited to those verses. Chapter 6, verse number 97. Uh, sorry, this one is talking about uh, a science. This is a different one. Chapter 6, verse number 98, I mean. Chapter 6, verse number 98. Uh, Allah, he explained the Quran. Chapter 6, 126. Allah explained the Quran. Chapter 7, verse number 32. Allah explained the Quran. <laughs> Chapter 7, verse number 52. Allah explained the Quran. <laughs> Chapter 7, verse 174. Allah explained the Quran. <laughs> And I keep go, I can go, but keep going. But there's a there's a verse specifically is is a, is very funny. Chapter ten, verse number thirty-seven. This one is really funny. If you read with me, uh, <coughs> they accuse Muhammad that he's a fraud. Obviously, this is what the verse is about. So Muhammad he told them, Allah he said to me to tell you that this Quran is not such a could ever be produced by other than Allah. For sure, nobody can. I mean, you have to be a certified donkey to make such a book. The sun set in murky water. Women have a sperm coming from her ribs, and the man have a sperm coming from his backbone, and uh, the sperm became a became a, a clot, congealed the blood. Obviously, nobody can make Quran like this. Okay, and then he continues saying, but it's confirming the revelation which was before it. This is the Muslim translation was before it, but doesn't say that in Arabic. Here it says. تصديق الذي بين يديه وتفصيل الكتاب. What is between his hand, not what was between their hands. There's no was. You see how they lie. Confirming the revelation, which is the Bible, the Torah and the Gospel, which, bet which is between his hands. We can go later for this, but read the, uh, but the point here I want to make and full explanation for the book. <laughs> hey, Muslims, your God, he made full explanation for the book. Is that true? Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I want to show you after the full explanation of the book what the Muslims they come with the conclusion. Because remember, full explanation of the book, brother. Who made it? Allah, brother. Okay, so now after Allah, He gave us full explanation of the book. Let us see how the Muslims, they understood the book after the full explanation. <laughs> Chapter 50, verse number 1. Tafsiru ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad. This is why he's a fraud. And this is why he's crazy. Look at this. This is, remember, after Allah explained the book. This is after what? After the interpretation. <laughs> Not before. <laughs> And from the narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas, look the authority. This guy, he have authority, brother. He's not a falafel boy. He's not a guy from those speaker corners, little boys, you know. And from the narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said in his interpretation, Allah saying Qaf, he says Qaf is an azure mountain overlooking the world. <laughs> And the color of the sky coming from it, and Allah swear by it. <laughs> this is after the. the uh, okay, let us go to the verse. Allah explained the book in details. Everything, brother. <clears throat> Everything is explained in details. I and mean, he come on. Isn't it obvious that the book is explained in details? So based on this interpretation, this is the earth. I cannot resist 
uh, you know, drawing, you know, like I'm an artist by birth. This is the earth. And Allah, he placed, remember the Quran says, Allah, he placed mountains. He placed it, it's not coming from the earth. He placed it in the top of it so the earth will not shake. So Allah, he put an azure mountain, blue mountain. You know the song like, oh mommy, mommy blue, oh mommy. Oh mommy, mommy blue, oh mommy blue, oh mommy. And this mountain, brother, is surrounding the earth, brother. Oh, is it? Yes, brother. And this is why, brother, the sky is taking its color from it. I was wondering where the color of the sky is coming from. I thought somebody used a Clorox for the panty of his wife. And this is where the color coming from. So based in the interpretation of the most knowledgeable person in Islam, the cousin of Muhammad, who Muhammad prayed for him to be the ink of the scholarship, obviously the prayer working, that the earth is surrounded by an azure mountain, and I just gave you, but be honest with me, isn't it this is a price test? I don't know, if I put it in auction, I don't know how much I can sell it. You see, guys, I do not need to do anything. I mean, I mean, I just, like, two minutes, draw something, put it in auction. That's it. Muslims will buy it. I mean, come on, this is, because this is Azur Mountain. <laughs> this is what Allah spoke about, the Azur Mountain. We, we found it. <clears throat> so, brother, the Quran is so explained to the point we come to the conclusion that there is an azure mountain surrounding the earth, brother, and the sky is taking the color from it. So obviously, the Muslims can teach you your book. They can explain the Bible for you. You will see a Muslim coming and debating you about your book, and he want to explain your book <laughs> when this is his book. <laughs> oh boy! <clears throat> what do you mean I'm the best painter? No, don't don't say that. You know, don't please don't exaggerate. Maybe maybe I'm not the best in the world. Maybe I'm like the one before the best. Uh, come on, let, we have to be honest. You know, secondly, I like to be humble. <laughs> okay, so Allah, brother, he explained the Quran. And Allah, after he explained the Quran, we come to this. I mean, every, every verse in the Quran is a disaster. If you go, if you see the list of the of, of Quran interpretation, you would die crazy. If I go to the uh, Arabic page, and by the way, those are not all the interpretation of the Quran. Those are just some, because they don't have them in the digital world yet. You know, they are working in this project. So if I click here, look, 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 look. You know, the uh, you know, I have to flip the screen. I mean, hundreds and thousands of interpretation of the Quran, and still the Muslim they come with the conclusion that the sun set in murky water and uh, there is a mountain surrounding the earth according to the Allah explanation for the Quran well uh, you know Allah explained best everything is coming from Allah actually I heard that taco bell is made by Allah you know but hey Muslims isn't the bell is haram and Allah he hate the one who uh, ring the bell <laughs> you know you remind me of something here about the bell this edict Muhammad because he hate Christianity so he told uh, his followers that the bell is the instrument of shaitan is what the bell is the instrument of shaitan read it the prophet said the bell is one of the musical instrument of shaitan look, look here I just noticed that Shaitan, he is multitask person. He don't only play bell, he play bell and drum and Billy Clinton and Hillary Clinton. He play, he play all the, the, but this is one, this is one, brother, this is one of the musical instrument of Shaitan. Like what the heck? And then the funny Muhammad, he say, in different hadith, Like, what the heck with this guy? Muhammad, he received Quran in the sound of a bell. Like, what? 
I thought the bell is the instrument of shaitan. They asked Muhammad, this is Sahih, how does the wahi, wahi is inspiration. And you Muslims, I don't know how you can call it inspiration. Because if Muhammad he received delivery by a guy, that is not inspiration, you idiot. That is delivery. I mean, even the word they use is very funny. And then how did inspiration come to you? He said, at the time, it come to me like a ringing of a bell. Like, what the heck? This Abdul Muhammad, he just forgot that he taught us that the bell is the instrument of shaitan. Can you believe it? Muhammadans, can you believe it? Uh, you don't believe it? I don't believe it too. <laughs> you know, always I ask myself, I like to ask myself, you know, I, I'm like Muhammad sometimes, I talk to myself. I imagine things, brother. So as long as Muhammad he received the inspiration as a sound of a bell. So how Muhammad he made the Quran in Arabic? Unbelievable. Brother Athar, the Prophet of Allah, he received the Quran at the sound of a bell. Tarudin, 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 tarudin. And then after the voice comes in his head, like a ring of a bell, tarudin, 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 tarudin. it comes from the other side as What the heck? Do those people use their brain? How the guy he received Quran in a sound of a bell and then he made it Arabic? Shouldn't you? What is the chapter of Taradam Taradam? Hey Muslims, do we have a chapter? It's called the bell chapter. And all what we hear there is the bell sound. Taradam Taradam. And how does guy he say that the bill is the instrument of shaitan and he himself he receive a sound of a bill? That means he is receiving a sound from shaitan. So <clears throat> I'm truly, truly convinced that Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet. <laughs> but after tax, <laughs> nothing left. <laughs> Yeah, but any you know what I kept saying. They asked like a Nike about the whore. The woman she asked him, How come the man he will get 72 whore and the woman she will not get? He said, Tilta. First of all, the word whore is a plural word, which means it's a male and female. So, Anthala Tilta, you will have a lot of whore. <laughs> which means a lot of men they will do boom boom to you. Like, what the heck? But the news for you, sister. But the Quran says that those whore, they are. Uh, they never bleed from their period and they never bleed from the intercourse. How does guy he come to the to interpretation that those are men and women? So my friends, <clears throat> the video we showed you, it shows how much important it is to arm the Christians with knowledge. Do we agree? You can, you know, you can imagine if we don't do what we are doing, the Muslims there, there's nobody there to get them busted. Because sadly, Christians, they ignore the fact that there's a lot of people speaking lies about us. You go to church, there's nothing but service. And the service has nothing to do with really service in you. It's just a ritual. So many of those priests, they are doing what, you know, traditional things. You know, there's teaching, there's cults, there, there's, there's people need to learn. So we are doing here what should be done in a churches because the priests are not doing their job. Actually, the priests, they are welcoming Muslims to, to teach Christians about Islam. And they tell the Christians that Islam is the same, they have the same God. They are deceiving your children. 
So we are here to fight liars. Doesn't matter it's coming from who. The Bible and the Lord, he says, the father of all lies is the devil. I, I, I guess we agree on that, right? So it doesn't matter if the lie came from a Christian or from a Muslim, if it's from a priest or from a bishop or from Muhammad. Liar is a liar. It doesn't matter where he belong. So we are here so you can do what this lady she did. But I want you please, when you watch my videos, I show you a reference, take a screenshot, make a note about it, send it to your email. You can send it right away, to create a screenshot, your email, and give it a name, you know, in your email. So later you want to find it, you go to your email, offline, you don't need to be online, because as long as you open it once, that's it, it's there. You can go there and you can show him the screenshot in your email. So I really appreciate those people who work. I appreciate people who stand for the truth. For those people, they can save many people. They're watching and they can be deceived by this liar. And the funny is, this guy, he said something about hatred. I don't know if you heard what he said. Are the best of the people. So what, what, you know, however, Muhammad said that he swore on the Torah and the Gospel. He did? Yes, he did. He swore? Can you he show me that? On the Torah and she's the gonna, Gospel. Gonna... Can you show me that? Can you show me that he did? Yes, you idiot, he did. Where we can show you? Hold on. Where is the Hadith? Uh, and here we go. And this is the reference. And this is Hassan, which means good. But this is Sahih, anyway, this is Sahih book. He said to them, bring me the Torah. And the Torah brought to him, and he would draw the cushion from underneath of him. And then he said, <clears throat> he then would draw the cushion from the beneath, uh, beneath him. This is showing too much respect. You see the hypocrite? And he placed the Torah on it, saying, "I believe in thee and the one and in the one who revealed thee." You will see a Muslim kid saying, "Oh, he was uh, taking uh, taking uh, oath only by the correct ones." <laughs> It doesn't say that, Abdul. It says, I believe in thee. He put his hand on the Torah, not in a word, on the Torah. <laughs> so <clears throat> take a screenshot, save the reference. So later when you want to get them busted, you have it there. You have it in Arabic, you have it in English, whatever language you want. Uh, and then he said something about hatred. <clears throat> Let us see what he want to, you know, you need always to remember, that Muslims they accuse you of what they do always as an example Islamic claim that Muslims they preserve women when the fact women is in Islam is not preserved if you preserve women you don't divorce her marry her divorce her marry her divorce her marry her, and you she will have a, a billion husband before she die she have no security she have no life she have no future she have no past she is just a sex toy you don't preserve the women and if you preserve a woman, you marry one woman and you stay with her. There's no need for four and five and six and seven. A man, he need only one woman. He do not need a hundred women. So, and then the guy he was speaking, when she said to him my name, for sure all of them they knew about me, and they are terrified. Ruin your he swore really on the Torah and the gospel. Yeah, no, she, but she, she's actually right. Yeah, he swore on the on the Torah. I don't know where. But he's actually right. So she's right. So she's right. But you don't know where she. He yeah. said that. We got rid of it. See now he gets so strong. Like, he, but you don't know where it is. You don't know where it is. <laughs> you see, he get like he gets so excited. You, you remember, you know, sometime I like I play with the Abdul. Like I say, the reference is there, but I cannot really, I mean, I'm trying to find it. The guy, he gets so, he gets so excited. Oh, he cannot find it now. Okay. <laughs> See, liar, I got you busted. <laughs> so he gets so excited. So I said, uh, you know, and then you show it to him and then he will be like in the stage of collapsing. Get your reference ready. Oh, so you've read it before? And, yeah. and you can look it up on Christian Prince. Uh, Christian Prince. Uh, he, wow. He is a Arabic person. That showed he uh, said he uh, received his revelation from Jibril. Jibril. Gabriel. And he said three times the angel choked him. Three wow. times he choked him. Wow. So you're.
You're you're and giving me okay. So you're giving me from Christian Prince, who's a apologist, right? So you're learning about a religion which his channel is fully based upon making you hate Muslims and Islam. Chill, chill. See, this is the game they play. When their religion is the one who teach hate, we as a Christian, we've been ordered, not only been like uh, advised, we've been ordered love your enemy. So we Christians, we don't hate Muslims and we don't hate anyone. But look who is talking about hate, the one who followed the Quran. The book says, Allah, he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. So how a person, he follows such a book. So next time, if a Muslim, he speak about hate, you have to have your reference handy. Chapter 5, verse 14. Say to him, you think that we Christians hate you? He will say, yes. He, he say, do you think Christian Prince, he hate you? He says, absolutely. Show him that the one who would hate, if he have it, as you claim, which is not true. Chapter 5, verse 14, Allah, he would hate in the heart of the Christians. But before you do that, ask him, do you think hate is from the devil or from God? For sure he will say from the devil. And then get him busted. Learn how to play those people because they are deceiving people. They are there in the yard, in the square yard, to deceive, not to share the truth. This guy, he knew that his book is full of hate. His book ordered to kill the Christians, to slaughter them, to install terror in their heart. So how come he do not know? Chapter 33, verse number 26, speak specifically about killing the Christians, torturing, torturing the Christians, kidnapping their children and their women, and taking them as captives, sex slaves. Chapter 33, verse number 26. Take a note. In the same time, the Quran, chapter 9, verse 29, order to kill the Christians unless they pay so they can live. Islam is a mafia, it's a gang. In the top of that, when a Muslim, he say, you are listening to a Christian prince, a person who hate uh, his channel full of things, hate Muslims. Well, if I hate Muslim, then why Muslim they leave Islam and they accept Jesus in my channel? That doesn't make sense. Why somebody want to accept what I teach if I hate him? You know what I mean? Because before he leave, I'm talking to him and he's a Muslim. So why hundreds and thousands of Muslims left Islam talking to me? If I hate them, they will not accept the word of what I say. Actually, the video who made this, the one who made this video, by the way, <clears throat> I don't know if he's here or not. I think he's asleep. As long as he is asleep now, let us talk in his back. <laughs> this is what Muhammad do. When the Christian come to debate him, he could not dare to debate them. The Christian, they left, he want to debate. So, uh, you will see this channel, by the way. I, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. I can give you the link for it. This person, he left Islam here, in our channel. And he is from Turkey. So if I hate him, why him and his family and his wife, they became Christians? Why somebody, I hate him, he will listen to me? You know what I mean? So they try to smear you, they try to frame you. They cannot refute me, they try to frame me as a person. But for the sake of argument, let us say I'm a person is a criminal, he's a bad person. But it's still my argument, you cannot refute. You know what I mean? Does it say that your prophet, he swore by the Torah? Does it say that the Quran, I confirm what is with them? So if a Christian prince is a bad or good, what does it have to do with the topic? But because they are bankrupt, they are totally bankrupt. I don't know how many of you, uh, Sheikh uh, Omad, sorry, not Ahmad, uh, uh, subscribe to his channel I post the link so feel free please to subscribe to him and actually he is doing a great work uh, making videos uh, which is uh, actually his videos is, is kind of a comedy they are funny you know so you will like them they are like a, they are like a snack for fun <laughs> yeah so support him you know join his channel he's a very good person and uh, I'm glad for him that he became a Christian so my friends, my family, Muslims, we don't hate you. 
we Christians we've been ordered to love everybody and Jesus he said I came for the sick I did not come for the healthy so if our Lord himself he come for the sick and if Islam is sick so we are coming to save you from the sickness of Islam and the one who want to save you from the sickness of Islam he don't hate you however we just showed you the Quran says Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians Allah want to kill the Christians Allah want to slaughter the Christian Allah want to install terror in the heart of the Christians but the Quran in the same time says clearly that you will not find one Muslim one true believer he is loving to those who don't believe in Islam not a single one so when a Muslim here asks you about hate say to him do you love the Christians if he say yes then show him chapter 5 verse 51 where it says take not Christians and Jews as a friends chapter 5 verse number 51 why you cannot take them as a friends if he said to you oh he's talking about uh, the enemies well obviously we are enemies then because you cannot take as a friend but if the Christians here the Christian they want to take you as a friend Allah say no you cannot take them as a friend obviously they are not enemies obviously the Christian don't hate the Muslims this verse proving that because if the Christian they hate the Muslims why they want to take you as a friend it is Allah who don't want us to be friends and this is the Quran in front of you you cannot take them as a friends and you cannot take them as protectors which means all those Muslims who carry British citizen and passport they take an oath in the court that they will defend this country they will defend the Queen they are a bunch of hypocrite fraud because this is against Islam chapter 3 verse 28 it says you can do taqiyya this is why you know our friend here in the video he made a, a, a funny uh, a graphic for taqiyya is loading I don't know if you notice right away they jump to the taqiyya practice which is lying for this is a very Islamic practice Muslims are ordered to lie which is additional proof that Islam is from the devil right so you're learning about a religion which his channel is fully based upon making you hate Muslims and Islam. Not, it, it, chill chill chill, chill. Christian, Christian Prince Muslims he doesn't hate Muslims see the taqiyya is loading the taqiyya is loading and this is exactly what they do but then if you go in the Quran <clears throat> You will find where the Quran say, make it clear. Let us close some pages. Too many. Here in chapter 58, verse number 22, it says, You will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day making a friendship with those who oppose Allah and His Messenger. And who is the one who oppose Allah and his messenger? Anyone who don't believe in Islam. You see it? So the Muslim, they accuse you of something. They themselves, they practice. They do terrorism. And they, uh, you know, they accuse you of terrorism. They do rape and they accuse you of rape. They do child molestation. Their prophet is a child molester. They accuse you of a child molestation. They, you know, a woman, she cannot walk in the street alone in the Middle East. She, have a, she need a guardian. Did you ask yourself why a woman in the Middle East, in a Muslim country or in Pakistan, she need a guardian? Why she cannot walk alone? Did you watch the video of the girl? She is making a video in YouTube. They took off her clothes in the street. Hundreds of Muslims. Where is the shame? Why? Because she is not following the true Islam. Hundreds of men with long beard, they strip her from her clothing. In Islamic countries, you cannot send the girl alone in the street. Either she will be kidnapped or raped. In the Middle East, you cannot have a window without bars. Why we need bars? Because the, the country is full of thieves. Here, nobody has bars. And we have, we have thieves. For sure we have thieves.
So they accuse you of what they do. And they say to you not to do when they are the one who practice and they believe in it. So my friends, we as a Christians, we don't hate the Muslims and we will not hate them. For we are following the Messiah who said, love your enemy. But as you see, your God is the one who don't allow you. You will not find a single believer who take a Christian or a Jew or anyone who don't believe in Islam as a friend. If the Muslim, they will say this is not true, it's mean they are not Muslims because the Quran say that clearly, word by word. Clearly, word by word. They cannot deny it as long as you know it. But they will deny when you are in ignorant. So my friends, copy my videos, share them with your friends, teach your children, save reference, take notes, so they cannot fool you or fool your child. You don't want your child one day to come home and say to you, because he listened to a kid in the school, he want to be a Muslim. You don't want that in your house. And trust me, it can happen. If you think that will not happen, it can happen. I have many people who contacted me to speak to their children. And I saved them all, thank God. But what about those who don't have opportunity to speak to someone like me? The first defense is in the house. If the house have no defense, the children are exposed to all kinds of things, drugs, sex, child molestation. You have to educate your children about what is right and what is wrong, about cults, about liars, about lies. If you don't do it, somebody will take advantage of you. Or your children. <clears throat> so, uh, I hope you guys have a good time together. Don't forget uh, to download the video, share it with your friends, and let us together, you know, glorify the Lord, and let us pray to the Muslim to see the truth, and the truth will set them free. But in order to bring the Muslims to Christ, we have to be Christian first, right? We have a true to be true believers, and true believers is not the one who divide the Christians. True believers is the one who believe, whoever believe in Jesus as Lord, as Savior. Whoever believe in Jesus, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Whoever believe in the resurrection, in the crucifixion. Whoever believe that the Messiah is coming back and he is the only way. Whoever believe that the Messiah is the life, is the resurrection, is the truth, is a Christian. Is not someone who call himself a name or a title of a church or a sect. Christianity is not a sect. Christianity is a Christ. Christianity is a sect for the dummy. For those who sit inside the box or a drawer. Who hold themselves inside the box, they think that they are right. When the fact they don't know even Christ yet. Christ, he wants us to go and teach and preach. Not to close doors on us and throw rocks at other Christians. If somebody is wrong, correct him, but don't think you are better than him. For all the world commits sin, otherwise why the Messiah came? All men and women, they are short, and they have their sin, so don't think you are better. But the good thing is that we have the guidance of the Messiah to fight our sin. And in our fight, we should help others to fight their sin. Rebuke them, maybe. Correct them, maybe. But don't stone them, my friend. When the Messiah said to the Jews, give what to Caesar to Caesar, and what to God to God, he was talking to you too. Don't play God. Give what to him, to him. In the day of resurrection, in the day of judgment, the Messiah will judge each one of us. It's not your job. Your job is to correct. Your job is to say you are wrong. Your job is not to curse. Your job is not 
to send people to hell and to heaven. This is not your job. The Lord, he says, I am the truth, and the truth will set you free. So the only thing that can set a person free is the Lord. When I bring a Muslim to Christ, I'm not the one setting him free. It is our Lord. I'm just here serving, doing my duty to provide them with information to understand that what they've been taught about the Messiah is a lie. But the one who will save them is not me. Me, myself, I need a savior, and that is the Messiah. So we pray that the whole Muslims will listen. We pray that the Christians will be united. We pray that the Christians and you know always will support each other to love, not to hate. We don't want support of hate. We don't want hatred. Hatred is from the devil. So don't hate the Muslims. Hate may be a behavior, an act, an action, evil. We hate the evil uh, some people, they do. But remember one thing. Evil have many faces, have many color, have many look. Evil changes its shape. Sometimes can come to you as a priest. That's why the Bible says, be aware of false teachers. They are teachers, but they are false. Be aware of people who come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. Evil is very deceiving, and that's why he comes to you in many shape. He will not come to your door and say, I am evil. He will not. So is Muhammad. Muhammad, in order to deceive people, he claimed that he accept the Messiah. It's just a way of deception. The same as a priest who is a child molester, he comes to your house. He is the same as Muhammad. He is a child molester like Muhammad. But for sure not all priests are the same as this priest. But there is one there, he is a child molester. There is one there, he is a criminal. There is one there, is for the money. Like Muhammad. So for us, we don't follow a priest, we don't follow a person, we follow the Messiah. For no man can be trusted, for all men are sinners. We put our trust in the Lord and the Lord alone. And the one who do that, he will never fail. He will never lose. He will never regret. But the one who trusts a man is being foolish. For every man is a sinner, including me and you. I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is funny, made by a dummy. And we prove it every day. I will leave you with the video of our friend uh, uh, shake and please don't forget to subscribe to his channel as I told you you know he deserve your support he do a lot you know those videos actually they take work regardless of how short how long they are so those who make videos you know support them because it's taken from their time and as you see he is doing it like for free he is not monetizing or anything it's you know it's just for free so he is doing it from his heart he's he have nothing you know so please support him and subscribe to his channel. And this is the video again. And until I see you again, maybe tomorrow or the day after, God bless you. Love you all. about them and their family so that we could confirm that the people who are bringing this gospel that you're holding on to so tight are the best of the people. So one, one How, however Muhammad said that he swore on the Torah and the gospel. He did? Yes, he did. He swore? Can you he show me that? on the Torah and she's the gospel. Ruin, she's going to ruin your argument. He swore really on the Torah and the gospel. Yeah. No, but, she, but she, she's actually right. Yeah, he swore on the, on on the, the Torah? Torah? I don't and know where, gospel. but she's actually right. So he's she's right. right. So she's right, but you don't know where she, he yeah. said that. I, because I read it before. Oh, so you've read it before. And, yeah. and you can look it up on Christian Prince. Uh, Christian Prince. Uh, he, wow. He is an Arabic person. That showed he uh, said he uh, received his revelation from Jibril. Gabriel? He said three times the angel choked him. Three wow. times he choked him. Wow. So you're...
you're you're and giving I mean, me okay so you're giving me from christian prince who's a apologist right so you're learning about a religion which his channel is fully based upon making you hate muslims and it's not chill 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 christian prince muslims he doesn't hate muslims stop it you're, you're talking about two different christians that's the point so go back to my point about luke and uh, go back to my point then argue about character that uh, Muhammad no, 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 we're not tell me his character wanna, uh, tell me his character please character. please Muhammad you're about to say six something year old, six wow. year old, Muhammad he physically molested her Aisha okay However, he did okay, not okay. Sleep with her my turn Hadid, my turn my turn Hadid, she said something crazy Hadid, right now she said something crazy right now Cool. All right, so listen, 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 listen. So you made a very, very big claim right now. Very big claim. I want to be very clear with you all. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus, Jesus loves you too.